Good morning guys, um, welcome to Eastney Pier here in uh, Hampshire. Yeah, I've come down this morning because um, the past few days it's been temperatures of minus two, minus three and, and lower, you know. And um, yeah, the, the sunrises have been absolutely stunning <laughs> today when I've come out. It looks like, I mean it's still very dark, but it looks like it's overcast and there potentially isn't going to be a sunrise, which is just typical of my luck. But um, I, I don't really want to go um, on the off chance that, that it does clear uh, and we get one of those magnificent sunrises that we've had um, over the past few days. So um, we have about an hour and 20 minutes to go. It's about 20 past six, half past six. Yeah, so we have a bit more than that, so an hour and a half um, before sunrise. Um, but let's see what we can capture. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you for being here. Um, I will probably do this again because it is pitch black. Um, but yeah, thanks. <laughs> So the sun is rising at last, but um, yeah, it's not in sight. You can't see it anywhere. The thick cloud is hiding it. So I've come up to the pier itself and um, I'm doing, first one I'm doing is a portrait shot of the pier. It's 240 seconds um, to smooth out the water, obviously. Um, yeah, I also like this one here, so I might do this as well. Come a little bit closer into it and see if I can photograph that or even the two of these together. But these shots are not gonna be ground shattering guys there's just nothing the, the sky is really really flat I mean there's hardly any definition in the clouds at all and um, it's just really poor and um, yeah it's just my luck I suppose but we will see what we can capture Okay, so I've turned the camera and I've now got these two in the frame and um, I've done it so that I've got a line, a leading line running us down to the left hand side of the left one obviously, um, and the two are separated. So um, yeah, again, 240 seconds just to smooth that water out. Although, um, yeah, I'm hoping now to um, see if we can capture a little bit of the movement in the clouds. Now that the, now it's a little bit brighter, there is a little bit more definition in the cloud. Not a lot, I have to say, but, but you know, we can see if we can capture the movement in the cloud. Um, yeah, the other one looked really nice. It looks a little bit too bright potentially, um, but we will see what it looks like in post. I, I like it to be a little bit bright obviously not too bright because we start to capture too many reflections and make the water too white etc so um, yeah we'll see what it looks like I'll share that now I can see this one as a square crop I reckon a one by one um, I reckon this will look quite nice um, I want to now when this one's finished walk down this pier piece and see if I can get a little bit closer to the pier itself and do one from there so yeah we'll see might and capture Oh, sorry, might capture the two together if I can, I don't know. But um, yeah, I'll share this one and I'll see where we go from here, thanks. I've moved the camera slightly so I was able to, there's, there's like this pipe, I don't know if it's a pipe or some form of mechanism that runs away all the way to the right hand support. Um, yeah, I wanted to try and capture that. The, the tide's coming in, so it's sort of covered it a little bit, but that might be beneficial for the photograph. But um, I've done it in portrait um, so that it's following that, that pipe all the way up to that support. And uh, yeah, it's a 30 second, 30 second exposure. And I did one for one minute exposure just to see if that works as well. Um, I've now moved it so I'm pointing more to the right because there's one of them C markers out there with a red light on the top. Um, so I'm gonna try and capture that a bit of minimalistic photography. Um, and I'm gonna then move across more to the right hand side and see if I can photograph it from, from what looks like, um, I don't know what it is. It, it looks like some form of groin that leads out to it. So I'm gonna try and capture that as well. But we're just about done after that. I think the sun's now come up. Um, yeah, really, really unfortunate today. But let me see what I can capture. All right, I'm gonna put the long lens on for this one, guys. All right, thank you. Sorry about my hat. <laughs> So as you can see, I've come down to this concrete groin. It goes out for ages. And then at the end of it, it's got like that red sea marker. So yeah, the um, the tide's coming in, so I don't want to be here too long. Um, 
I've captured it, 13 second exposure at F18. I don't want to go to F20 or F22 just to extend the exposure time. And I don't really want to get my filters out if I'm honest. Um, yeah, there's just no need. The, the conditions are just... <laughs> um, yeah, it's just not what I was hoping for at all. I suppose, I mean, if, if I came here and this is what I wanted to do, it'd be perfect, but it isn't what I wanted to do. And I suppose I'm a little bit deflated about that. But um, yeah, I've managed to capture some photographs and, and I'll try and share those with you, depending on how they look. Um, this one, like I said, it, it's just all about this long, long running groin with the marker on it. 13 second exposure, F18. I've done some of the, um, of that area over there, the pier. Um, I'll share all of those, or I will have shared all of those. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'm sorry it's not what I wanted. Um, I hope you enjoy the photographs. I look forward to seeing you all next week. If you haven't already, guys, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment on what you've seen today. Good or bad always helps, I suppose. See you soon. Thank you, guys. <laughs>